Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome to my channel. Now what I love about today's video is that all of these projects are Dollar Tree inspired, but also what's great about all of them is that they are very, very transitional. You could easily make these work into a lot of different DIY styles or your home decor style. Now for me, I tend to lean a little more modern, a little more industrial, but with all of these projects, you could easily turn these into farmhouse or contemporary or even glam in some cases. It really just depends on how you style and how you create them. Now, before we get into those projects, of course, I wanna say thank you to all of my subscribers. You guys know who you are. I so appreciate you being here. If you're brand new to the channel, maybe checking it out for the first time, hopefully you will stick around and become a subscriber as well. Until that happens though, hopefully you're liking a lot of the videos and giving it thumbs up and such. All right, let's jump into the projects wherever the way that this thing is going to go and uh, let's get started. <laughs> right everyone and for project number one we're going to take some of these tumbling tower blocks and then you can really take any kind of vessel that you want to use from Dollar Tree. I'm actually going to be using this clear glass cylinder that's in the middle there. So we're going to be actually doing kind of a Kirkland's dupe here and what I'm going to be doing is creating some L's with my tumbling tower blocks and my hot glue gun there. Now, all I'm gonna do is literally just take two pieces of the unfinished wood. You could certainly use the other colors if you wanted to. Um, I'm gonna be using a um, antiquing wax on mine, so I didn't want to have that darker brown wood. Either one is totally fine, just depends on what your preference is. So I'm gonna go ahead and create four of these L's, and then once I have those L's done, I am going to use some antiquing wax and go ahead and paint those and get those ready to glue on the bottom of my glass jar. Now you will see with the glass jar that the L's are going to be a little bit too long, but that's okay. I'm gonna pull out my Dremel tool here and I'm going to hack away some of the tips on two of those that way everything fits nicely. The way that I'm doing it now is really enabling me to have nice firm looking brackets on either side of the object that I'm gonna be gluing these on. So that's why it kind of works with any kind of vase that you may want to use from Dollar Tree. Candle holders, vases, it would even look really cool with flower pots if you could find some of the larger blocks. Um, I think that there's a lot of really cool versatility with this. And so I'm just gonna use hot glue for this. You could certainly use anything you wanted to, um, uh, e E6000, you know, super glue, anything like that. And once it's all set and dry, go ahead and just add whatever you want to your vessel. I'm gonna add some rocks and a candle and boom, you've got a very cool looking candle holder for just a few cents. I love this. Now my next project here is gonna have a very cool industrial twist to it. I'm gonna take one of these cloches and one of these lanterns that you can pick up at your local Dollar Tree store. But for the lantern, I'm actually only interested in the globe part of this, not even the lights. So I'm gonna take my cloche base, sorry about that uh, drunken camera angle there, and uh, I'm actually using my wood burning tool and I'm gonna burn a hole in the bottom of the plastic, make sure you're in a ventilated area, of course, when you're doing this, but I'm making that hole big enough that that base of that light bulb is going to screw into this. So, uh, you know, you may need to use some tweezers or whatever to kind of uh, clean it up a little bit. I'm, I'm not too worried about mine. I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that that, that uh, light bulb fits perfectly into that. And you know, you may have to line it up a little bit and play with it like I'm doing here. But as you will see, it does end up going in there and it fits really, really nice and snug, which is perfect. Now, I'm gonna be using this wire string light instead of the base of the light because the base of the light that came with this bulb is uh, actually too thick, but don't worry. We're gonna use that for another project in a few minutes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add batteries to my string light, and then I'm going to take my um, string lights, and these are the copper ones, by the way. They make these in silver and gold. I am just going to shove them up through the base of that light bulb and just get those all kind of squished in there. And what's super cool about this is when you add that cloche lid, it creates a very cool looking modern industrial kind of a light. It puts out so much light, which I love. 
It looks really cool on my tiered tray here. It is a great little accent light and it is battery operated. The batteries are super, super easy to charge. And um, I love the way that this looks. You may remember I said that we would go back to using this little lantern guy again, and we're going to be using kind of the guts of this now where that uh, electricity part is. I am going to reuse the bulb from the previous project on this just so you, you know, just so I don't waste really. But, um, and also because I only have one of these lamps, uh, the first thing we're going to do is just start cutting away this plastic shade. You want to get rid of all that because you're not really going to need it. It's actually just going to get into your way and uh, or it's going to get in your way. And uh, just, I'm using a pair of really sharp scissors here and I'm just kind of picking it away and peeling it away, getting it trimmed down as close as you can just to the base itself. Make sure it still works, of course. And now we're going to pick up all of these little shavings of that lantern and even that little handle and believe it or not these are what we are going to use for our project just kidding um, I am going to take a wood pencil case this is the wood pencil case that you can get from Dollar Tree Crafter Square and uh, I did drill two or three small holes in there and then just took a um, like a craft knife and just kind of started cutting away until it made a hole now I'm gonna uh, just kind of make that hole a little bit bigger because that light bulb is not fitting perfectly into that and uh, I just want to go ahead and trim that out make sure that I have a good snug fit and uh, the base of that pencil case by the way is just a very very thin balsa wood so you could easily easily slice through that with a craft knife which is exactly what I did after I drilled those holes now again I'm taking my antiquing wax from Waverly and I am just going to be covering my wood base I love working with this stuff it's probably my favorite it cleans up so much nicer than using any kind of wood stain and uh, I just like the effect that it gives. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on kind of heavy and just work my way around. And then I will wipe off any of the excess. Once I'm happy with that color, it is time to start reassembling this. The first thing I'm gonna do is start to work my lights down through the tube or through that wood stand. And um, it is a little challenging. I'm kind of working in some tight quarters there with my, my, my big old meatball hands. And uh, I am just going to try and continue to work this through. I eventually um, give up and kind of go the opposite way. So I unscrew the bulb. I end up pulling the light string through that way and putting that base as close to the underside of that pencil case as I can. That way I can then take the bulb and just screw that together when you're creating your hole, you want to make sure that you do have enough space that you can uh, make sure that everything is nice and tight and snug in there. And when you're all done, you've got the coolest looking industrial light. Again, this would be super cool, super cute next to the other industrial light that we made if you're lucky enough to have two of those lanterns. And uh, it would even be a cool accent lamp just in another room of your house. I'm really, really happy with the way that this one turned out also. And for my next project, I'm going to be using one of these glass faces from Dollar Tree. Also, I'm grabbing some of their version of the Cricut Faux Vinyl. And then I have some twine and I have one of these belt uh, hole maker tools. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is take my vinyl. It's not a very generous piece. And um, I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to just cut it right down the middle and... Um, it's kind of funny, this vinyl didn't have like a uh, a very smooth edge or anything. I was kind of disappointed. But uh, anyway, I'm going to line it up as well as I can. And then I am just going to cut it and uh, just go right down the fold there. I did crease it just a little bit. And then I took my scissors and just cut it into a strip that was about, I would say, half the size of what the package quantity uh, came with. So hopefully that made sense. Once I had a piece cut off that I was happy with, I'm then going to go ahead and just add some dots on the back side of it. These dots are going to serve as the holes that I'm going to be using to add my twine and to kind of lace this around that vase. Now, I cut my, um, my piece of faux leather down to about three quarters, I would say. Um, I don't want this to go completely wrapped around the vase. I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, use a, um, there's going to be some space so you can kind of see the twine. 
it'll make more sense once I start to lace this up. So I'm just using my straight edge there and my ruler level, whatever that thing is called. And uh, I just went ahead and added my holes. Now I'm going to take my belt hole maker thing and I'm just going to punch some holes in there. I ordered one of those... Um, what are they, crocagators or alligator tools or whatever it's called. And um, it just hasn't arrived yet. So I had this tool on hand, so I thought it would work. And it it wasn't bad. I'm sure that uh, crocagator thing would be better. Now I'm going to go ahead and just take my twine and I'm going to literally start lacing this up, just like you're lacing a shoe. And um, as you can see, I, I don't really know how to lace shoes very well. Um, the great thing about this is that... Um, it's pretty easy. That vinyl uh, plastic, you know, vinyl-y leather from Dollar Tree is pretty sturdy. So it's uh, not going to rip really easily, which I found was uh, probably a good thing. Because as you can see, the twine is struggling just a little bit. That's only because those holes aren't finished. I don't have a grommet uh, tool or that uh, that uh, crocagator thing that I told you about. Um, I think that's what it's, it's like. It's called like a clipagator or a crocagator or something. Let me know in the comments below if you know what the heck I'm talking about. And uh, as I'm working on lacing this up, then all I'm going to do is tie it in a bow at the top and boom, you've got a very cool looking candle holder. All I did was just add some rocks and a candle and you've got a very cool modern industrial looking candle holder. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed these projects today. If you did, give me a thumbs up and be sure to let me know what your favorites were in the comments below. Also, if you're not a subscriber yet, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the YouTube channel here. Also, remember to look for me on Pinterest and TikTok and YouTube and Instagram and all the other ones that are out there. All right, guys, take care. Bye.